now we are going to start uh, to create uh, the the actual leaf cluster uh, for for the tree so a cluster means uh, something like this it is a it's an independent branch just one or uh, one part of a branch uh, which we can just multiply uh, across the whole tree so uh, when you go into white frame for this uh, this is actually a a few number of cards just just placed on uh, an axis and use some uh, deformations that's it so i'll i'll show you how to make this we go to materials first we need a texture for the leaf just a new texture i mean new mat uh, material leaf zero one just name is something it doesn't matter and just import the 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 complete leaf texture uh, so first we'll get the color map uh, this is the wall tree leaf it is zero two so zero zero one was a test wall tree zero leaf zero two base color so that's the base color we did see that's a, te a texture we just did in um, speed tree then opacity can come from the same same texture it comes, it comes from base color then we don't have a separate opacity map so change changes to alpha right, I've got opacity and under normal get uh, wall tree texture wall tree leaf uh, zero to normal then we need the specular specular is roughness uh, same thing zero to roughness uh, roughness looks a bit a bit like uh, like alpha right now but but that's okay so we got all the te uh, te textures i'm just going to save this as a, as a test vault vault cluster zero one underscore test because i don't want to change anything in my, in my original file so save it as a test so under materials again uh going to mesh uh, we don't uh, we don't have any mesh yet mesh yet so under meshes create a new mesh so we will make the whole mesh in speed tree uh, we won't be using any other software for this so just make it as leaf zero one for now if if zero one go back to materials under this uh, list uh, select leaf zero one and go to edit just click yes and under this mesh editing oh sorry i accidentally closed it uh, again go to edit and scale is up slightly and go to show opacity and we need to make uh, make first we need to make two leaves out of this so i'll use one uh, one one texture to make a, a dry leaf and one one texture to use uh, to make a green leaf uh, leaf mesh so just move these points to as, as as close as possible leave some space uh, at the at the top uh, it's a bit, uh like 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 just like that and just cover this one up so keep it as close to the alpha as possible and i need to bend this slightly so i so i just going to add some geometry here so this this uh this um this leaf mesh you have to keep it as optimized as possible because this is the one that is going into the game not like the one we made for hd leaf so once you have this uh click save i'll click on all the three channels so we have leaf number one so so this i just renamed to leaf uh, maybe uh large zero one another one i'll add leaf dry zero one so I'm going to materials again uh two-sided under meshes add one more mesh and choose leaf dry zero one and go to edit say yes so it uh, it defaults back to this square pattern now move this here actually we forgot something uh, to do something with the previous one i will go back again because we didn't set the pivot point but that's okay you can do it so just get this geometry out like that 
and we need to bend this uh, forward. So I'll add a little bit, little bit more segments to it to give it more volume. Maybe one more segment here. That should do. So just save it here. Save, save. Now, um, now we materials. Uh, so go to leaf, leaf large. We again forgot to set the pivot point. Okay, so move this pivot point right here. This will be good. Move it slightly rotated angle to the right and set it. Same thing with the other one. Materials, leaf dry, edit. Uh, move this pivot point here and rotate it because this uh, this leaf is facing to the right. Uh, we need to change the angle for the pivot. So it has to be angle like that, just like that. Save it. Now save the file. Now just hide this ring here. Just press four. It's gone. Now under generation, uh, we are going to uh, do a little bit different from from what we saw last time. But every file should be starting from a a a, a tree trunk. We need a, we need a tree trunk to start anything from. So add geometry to select it. Uh, you use a trunk tube. Uh, just a uh, height uh, height indicator because we don't need that and keep this as like really small maybe uh, go to spine reduce by about to be two meters now it's like really small uh, spine now uh, we don't need this much of skin so absolute radius make it like 0 0.02 or something because we don't we, we don't need a geometry for this and change the type to spine only so we got a spine here just one spine so this is like um, uh, just name is spine spine is spine is better and save it so select select spine now we need to uh, rotate this and face towards the y-axis you see here y-axis is towards that side so go into spine and change start angle to zero and go to general uh, for gen tab and rotate it like that to zero minus zero point two five, so now it is facing facing that way. Now we'll start adding the the leaf geometry. So um, first, first of all, add geometry to select it. Uh, we'll use a leaf mesh. So this leaf mesh is like hanging down right now, so we will adjust it. Uh, go to orientation. Uh, just change this to up or something. Now first we'll change the material to leaf, the leaf 01 and we got this nice texture right now. So that's a leaf. So we're actually going to get the dry leaf for this. So mesh, leaf dry, we get the dry leaf texture. Now just ro rotate this leaf down towards the y-axis. Um, so in the orientation, uh, be do it like that right out like that so I need to bend bend it a little bit down also I'm going to turn off the ground so show ground so ground is gone so there is no shadow uh, also the leaf has to be moved to somewhat in the middle so leaf mesh go to general change this to zero last so it will move the, the pivot will move, move move to the center now adjust the orientation just a little bit down okay keep it like that that should be good now we need to bend this down slightly so uh, under four uh, I think it is curl. So curl this downward slightly, just like that. So you got the branch like folding down. Uh, even I can increase the mesh size if you want. So now it is the one. Uh, if you want to increase it, you can just give the slide slider and increase it. But right now it is fine. You don't you don't have to change it right now. So the only problem is I'm I won't be able to attach any any more leaves to it because it is just a leaf mesh, right? There is something called uh, called anchors. So right now, I, no, right now I don't have any anchor on this, so 
what you need to, need to do is go into mesh I mean materials uh, leave dry so go to edit again now zoom into it now right now we don't have any uh, any 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 anchors so anchors are uh, these these uh, are these green dots here so add anchor remove anchor reset so anchors are uh, like like uh, spots where you can spawn a leaf from so this this whole alpha card can act as a branch if you have this anchors so i'm going to add one anchor click on this anchor click here somewhere so, so i need to uh, get uh, spawn my first leaf from here so you can actually uh, choose, a choose a direction maybe uh, i want to spawn the leaf this way to, to, to the right of this mesh and i can actually define this number so id is number one right now so i'm going to add another anchor here maybe between this leaf and say like this and change the id to two i'm going to add one more anchor here and like this i'll change the id to three and don't forget to save it click 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 now now we got this three dots here so those are the anchors so go back to the uh, scene here go to um, generation now under the leaf mesh right click and add leaf again so those those three leaves are right now uh now spawning from those three uh, anchors we just uh, defined in the leaf mesh right now now i can define which which i which anchor i want to use so if you go to gen uh, it says anchors all anchors so don't choose all anchors just choose one so now the first one is getting spawned and uh, so and for this leaf mesh go to material change this to leaf and change this to leaf large zero one so now this leaf large zero one is uh, is spawning from our dry branch so that's exactly what i want uh, but i can actually increase the size of this branch or let's just leave it as it is so this this uh, this leaf mesh i will first go to good orientation uh, just uh, change something on it like move it like that rotate uh, maybe something like up slightly and uh, give it a, give it a little bit of fold curl it upward like that so you can actually get whatever deformations you want and slightly a twist so get it more you know organic look then i'm going to add another leaf to to this one yeah, you can even copy paste it as here now it will spawn at the same same point now change this uh, anchor to number two so now, now it is uh, spawning from anchor number two we're getting a lot of variations here so for this leaf uh, i will just uh, go to orientation uh, fold it uh, downward like that or upward whatever way you want yeah that should be good and i'll add one more leaf uh, same thing Control c Control v attach it here and choose i'm going to gen change this to three so for number three i will reduce the leaf size a little, little bit and rotation so on or, or orientation just change, change the right to like that and under skin raise the size slightly that is pretty good maybe up and uh, slightly that, that way yeah that's good you can also have uh, have multiple multiple branches on uh, this one so by multiple branch i mean you can have more more um, anchors on on these branches so materials go to leaf leaf uh, large zero one edit so right, right now there's there are no no anchors so uh, i'll add some more anchors here so one anchor i need is uh, right here so i can have some more variation i can just just just, just keep it one one is fine uh, another one maybe here 
uh, name it like uh, ID number two. Uh, another one maybe here. ID number three and and save them. And and what will happen if I add a, add another leaf to this? So another leaf means uh, I'm 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 going to create another leaf. So go to mesh. Uh, a new leaf small zero one so leaf small zero one materials add new leaf small zero one I could edit give yes uh, I will take one one part of this uh, this alpha and create a leaf out of it so just watch I don't need this. Uh, okay, use user points because it was in anchor mode. That's why I did not get it. Okay. That should be good. Uh, this pivot point should be moved here. So this leaf leaf will be facing that way. Save, save, save. So that is like leaf number leaf small so for this leaf you can go to generation and add another leaf geometry leaf uh, leaf matrix uh, is taking taking all the three uh, anchors so go to gen just take one anchor number one and choose material uh, leaf zero one and leaf small so that is the main advantage so so right now i can actually have extra branches to to get more details on it so this branch looks looks too big so go to skin reduce the size and make it somewhat smaller so i get a branch that is like if if you look 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 to the side i can actually break that flatness of the branch like adding another small tiny bit of alpha card to it and and, and it won't be that obvious this this one when you look, when you look, look from far on a tree, you won't even see it. And this is uh, pretty flat. So for this one, I'll add a little bit of uh, deformation. Deformation is add some curl and twist and uh, some stuff. So it look more random. Yeah, that is pretty much it for the for making how to make a cluster. So somewhat like this, I made the first first, uh, first cluster. And this one was actually exported to the tree. So next, I will show you how to make this uh, into a tree. So export this uh, cluster as a as an OBJ. Uh, so go to File, Export a Game. Then uh, the, then you find the folder where you want to keep it. Uh, trees, um, vault tree, uh, under clusters. I'm going to save it as um, as an OBJ. So that is one wall tree cluster zero one obj. I have two or uh, two clusters, one one green and one dry. So same way, save it as an obj, and uh, and you're good to go. So if I'm, I'll, I'll show you how it works. So for this one, I'm actually going to export it. File, export a game, clusters, uh, type as obj. Take this one wall tree cluster, replace. So you have to use uh, use all these settings. So Keep uh, keep keep all alertes. Uh, you don't need the variations. You don't need an atlas. And keep everything as the same. And give OK. Uh, you actually skip the texture save. So you don't need that. So once it's done, it will be saved as a separate uh, uh, OBJ to be used in the main tree. Start a new new speed tree file with nothing in it. It's totally empty. I just hide this ground circle. Now um, for the tree, I'm, I usually use uh, use portrait mode. You can even use landscape if you find it comfortable. But for me, the vertically building a tree is much easier than the horizontal. So for the for the first part, you know, we need to import some meshes. So go to mesh. Go to this create new mesh. Add new. I'll just type custom trunk custom trunk for the tree. So the custom trunk we already saved 
a, a custom geometry from Max uh, in the in a in a previous uh, video tutorial. Uh, so we will be importing that one. So attempt to load no, and just load load the custom geometry. Uh, so in this I think is uh, meshes vegetation trees wall tree, uh, wall tree, wall tree custom trunk. So that is a custom trunk we are, we are, we exported from Max. Imported. Uh, we don't have to do LOD meshes now. So just say no, and our custom geometry is right right here. You can see it in this small uh, mesh window. So uh, we need a material for this. So under material, we're going to create new, and we'll say tree bark, tree bark, and say okay. And for the material, we are going to get the color first. Uh, we'll use uh, custom tree bark zero one base color. So that is a custom trunk base color. Then we'll get normal for the same tree. Uh, tree bark normal. Then we are going to get uh, tree bark uh, roughness right here. Now right here. This and give okay. Uh, that's all we need for now. So we don't need the AO. Or anything else because we are not going to uh, export textures from from speed tree as of now uh, then save the file as a test so I'll just use wall tree uh, zero version 2 um, so I'll just name it as test this folder and under meshes for the tree bark select the custom trunk so that's the first step now go to a generation tab and start we'll start modeling the tree so first step is to click on this then right click add geometry uh, to selected and use trunk tube now we are not going to use this trunk tube for this because we are only use, going to use uh, a spline so i just rename it as uh, trunk spline as a base uh, now we will reduce the height of this trunk spline to about maybe Five meters, five meters should be good for the tree as a starting point. And turn off this, uh, go to skin, and turn this to spine only. Uh, next, we need to uh, add a photogrammetry mesh node to it. So how do we do that? So right-click on this, go to add geometry to select it. Under photogrammetry, choose uh, mesh. So this mesh is the mesh we are going to use uh, to, to attach the custom trunk to and re rename this as uh, custom trunk can be anything it says it says it's better but don't worry about it now in this uh, click on this node and go to material uh, good material we are going to uh, choose tree bark so as soon as I select tree bark it is just popping up the custom trunk so this is the trunk we did in 3ds max in a previous version of the tutorial don't worry about the height right now it's uh, five meters fine mesh uh, we are going to choose custom trunk okay so uh, we will change the height of the tree uh, slightly uh, then uh, we'll make more modifications once we bring this into unreal uh, going to spine and right now i'm going to make it into 10 10 meters just for the sake of testing uh, I'm just going to hide the height indicator because that's a bit of a distraction. Now for this trunk uh, trunk spline, it doesn't matter how many uh, segments I have for this because this trunk spline will be used for all the deformations. So I just increase the segments to about uh, maybe three or something. So 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 it'll, it'll give me really nice uh, segments for bending. Or something like that. Now we'll be adding more bran branches to this custom trunk because because it, it's already defined by this trunk spline. Now select this custom trunk. Now we are going to attach a, a a speed tree mesh to it. The only way to attach a speed tree mesh is by using a stitch. So by stitch, what I mean is right click right click on this and add geometry to selected photogrammetry and cutting stitch so select you a stitch and add a cutting right stitch on it. 
it'll show you a, a red color you know this the, the this kind of a node at somewhere in space so you will have to use using move tool to bring it to to the mid, middle of this uh, custom trunk raise it up and then use the rotate tool to spin it out so by by using this st stitch is like i can actually uh, stitch any any uh, any uh, any speedy geometry to uh, to this so what is causing this uh, violet mesh so again click on this mesh trunk trunk spine now that is a spine skin radius, radius. so keep the radius as, as maybe as low as like 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0 0.01 is good now now when you go to stitch uh, it is not affecting it anymore now this this uh, this this stitch has to be uh has to be green in color so if it is anything other than green that means it is not centered or it has some some error so to to fix that press tab on the keyboard and uh and, and when you go to settings tab then you get this uh under tools there is something called center so when you click on center uh, it will turn green so it has to be green so green means uh, the, the stitch is perfectly centered uh, on the tree trunk so again press tab and come out of the tool now the tree is now cut at that specific spot don't worry about it we are going to extend it using a speed tree geometry save it and add geometry to select it and use uh, maybe branch tube or yeah branch tube is good this is branch tube now the, the this branch tube is actually getting connected to the uh, to the to the top of the trunk uh, because you are seeing a curve here because this this uh, this branch thickness is not matching with the the cu custom part of the trunk so the first uh, the first step is to match match them so select the branch now go to uh, skin now the radius is like uh, percentage of parent parent is 0.75 now i'm going to give it one so once i give it one it is it is perfectly matching the uh, the parent so the so the trunk so the mesh is really good uh, now the only thing we need to do is to add, apply a material so i add one more material here so right now we have uh, bark custom and bark tiling so bark custom is the one we gave to the bottom of the trunk because it's a custom geometry we cannot use tiling for this so we have to apply this custom texture with unique pieces and the tileable and the top of the trunk uh, which we used a speed tree geometry uh, we have to use a bark tiling so bark tiling is the same same texture with the unique part removed so this is a vertical a vertical texture if you check the size here it is um, 1024 by 2048 so originally it's a 2048 by 496 so i just cut down by half so for this i'm going to uh, <coughs> apply this material so go to material apply bark tiling so here the only issue is uh, this this bark will have to be properly matching the tiling with this one right so select this go to uv and use u locked so, so once you lock the u then it will have a nice uh, uh it will tile properly with the custom trunk now what about this 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 place where where we need to join these two so that is because of the stitch so the stitch is not properly blending with the top of the tree right so, so this is the this is a speed tree geometry this is the stitch and this is the custom trunk so stitch actually connects between connects the custom part of trunk with the speedy geometry <coughs> so we can easily fix that uh, select the stitch go to blend then you can actually uh, increase the blend height so i'm just increasing the blend height and it will give that nice uh, faded look that will make it look like it is blending now the total, uh, now overall the shape of trunk is good. Uh, it is tapering at the top, and it is wide at the bottom. Now we can have, we can start getting those you no know, nice shapes of the tree. So 
the tree which I made here, uh, I'll hide the leaves. I'll just press the number one and it uh, it'll actually hide the leaves. Now, if you look at this um, tree, so that is the custom trunk, then there's a stitch and this is the uh, speed tree geometry. Uh, this one over here, that one, that's speed geometry. So I just gave it a twist and um, and there is a kind of uh, deformation. So we'll try to achieve the same re result with our tree over here. I need to bring this uh, bring this custom part of the I mean this uh, this speed tree mesh down to approximately about here. That's a player height. So somewhat around here, I need to bring it down. So the so the best way to do that is uh, you select the stitch and and go to move tool and just move the stitch down. It'll actually bring the top of the uh, trunk down with it. Right now we go to the branch. So the branch is like uh, somewhat not matching with this bottom part of the tree. So go to skin. Uh, a percentage pattern is good. That is one. Now we'll just add, adjust the uh, this uh, graph a little bit. So increase the width of the uh, of the branch. Uh, you might see some some part of the tree cutting out, but but that is perfectly fine. It doesn't matter much because uh, you'll be seeing this tree from below like this. So uh, from below like this, and you won't notice that uh, that stitch part. Okay. Now we will just bend this uh, bend this trunk towards that side. I'm not going to use any uh, any any angle adjustment. So right now, how I'm going to do that is by using forces. So just uh, go to this forces icon here, uh, left click on it, and add. I'm I'm going to do a direction. So bring this up slightly to the, to the side. I want to to bend this tree. Uh, so if 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 this is a way. Uh, you'll be placing it in the engine and I want to move this uh, bend this tree like somewhere like this to, to, to the right so rotate this uh, this force to this side uh, that should be good now the icon is too big so uh, right right here we have the indicator scale so reduce it down maybe like uh, point, uh, 0.5 is good now select the speed tree mesh here, the branch, and check how much segments it has. So control two. Now it is a now now it is really dense. So you cannot use this kind of dense geometry in uh, for a game. So I'm just going to optimize it. Uh, so go to segments. Uh, temporarily, I just turn off this uh, relative and relative here. So now it is very dense. I mean very light. So just slowly increase it. I'm going to increase the length segments and increase the radial segments slightly so that it won't affect look of the tree plus um, it doesn't affect the density. So go back to textured. Uh, that is not bad. Uh, I can just increase it slightly more, maybe 1.05 1. Uh, 1. or 1.1. 1. 1. So, okay, let's increase it further. Maybe. And then maybe 1.5. 1. 1.5 is good. This one is uh, maybe around 2. So, uh, so at the base, we can have a, a, a really high den density, maybe 4. Uh, for this one, 2, maybe on relative is like uh, 3. Yeah, keep it like that. And for the top, you can make it lower. So when you, so when you go to the top, uh, you have this. Uh, take this um, graph and just bring this down so this is close to the trunk this is away from the trunk I mean this is, the, uh, this is close, close close to the custom part of the geometry and this is away from the custom part of the geometry so just bring this down so that is the length segments and for the radial segments so also bring this graph down maybe around like uh, that is good so, so the, the bottom is a bit, bit, bit dense, and when it goes to the top, it is it 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 gets progressively uh, less dense. That's a color view. Now, select the spine, and go to the spine tab, 
and there's a force uh, <clears throat> controls here so click on this direction and and the, and the, and the tree, tree actually bends to the right now the bending is mainly uh, mainly based on uh, what kind of uh, you know what kind of graph you have here so if i if, if i just control this the uh, this this bend if i need more bend at the base i can actually bring this down up a little bit so bring it up and the tree will actually start bending from the base over here so that is what i want so i want this tree to bend like that now the tree is like going just like to the side but uh, what i want to do is like tree has to go if we look from this like go from here to here with some twist so for that purpose uh, i will go to the spine tab again and there is a shape and twist so just twist it so this twist actually makes the um, makes the tree look look like a, it is it is like really uh, difficult for the tree to grow so it was uh, like twisting and turning to to get um, to you know to to stay alive now i'll use another force called uh, null so it's called g n a r l so null is like a twist force so uh, activate this here i might be using null or something else uh, i don't know which one is going to work so for the tree selected and under force uh, give the null on uh, that looks okay but i still have to adjust it so increase the uh, increase the value a little bit and the tree is like going like crazy and now, now let's sort of rotate the force slightly so force is like going this way now rotate it that way the tree is like almost going up now select this uh, spine and try to bring it down more so for the, di for the direction uh, increase this force a little bit so the, the tree is actually really going down like that just like that and uh, for the for the null uh, increase this to 0.8 or something and <coughs> Like you have to play around with, with a lot of stuff then again holding this branch uh, you have gravity control so increase the gravity at the tip so like uh, you get so many uh, so many different ways of uh, using the controls so here the gravity is like too much or uh, i don't know um, too low uh, then you go back to uh, this uh, spine and now parameters you just just reduce it stuff like that so once you get a nice, uh, nice look for your branch, I mean uh, look, look, look for the trunk. You can go ahead and start start making branches, which I'll be doing, and I'll be coming back after some time. You keep watching. No, I want to I want to give a give a little bit of uh, noise to it. So go to spine, uh, scroll down. So the late amount, uh, give it a slight uh, bit of bend. So so it is not not straight and smooth. And also a little bit of tur turbulence. Uh, so we can have a kind of noisy appearance to it. So yeah, I like uh, I like how it is uh, how it is twisting and turning. So maybe what we can do is basically we give uh, you more segments at the tip uh, so go to segments uh, increase the density of length segments the, the tip just for the tip a little bit uh, we can actually come back and tweak it later so so keep it as maximum for now okay so just the light and see how it is yeah that's good so this part we can uh, we can change it later so for now 
uh, no, we can set this screen right now. So this tip of the mesh, what, what I can do is if I, if I need to cut it down, uh, go to spine and uh, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a control called break. So increase the break chance somewhere around. I just bring it up to here. Break forward. Yeah, that is good. Because we can actually add a separate branch to it just to fill it up. So this so, so this branch, um, this is good. I'll add one more branch just to keep it uh, at the tip. So go to branch now, just right click, add geometry selected uh, branch tubes. So this branch is actually spawning at the middle of this trunk. Uh, just go to UV, U locked, then under gen, change this mode to uh, absolute. So we only have one, change that to zero and go to extended parent and select any. So that will actually form that branch at the tip of the trunk. Now just reduce the length. Select it. I know it is too long. Reduce that to somewhere like that. Should be good. Select this branch. So this is actually based on this parent. Uh, go to skin. And at the tip, you can actually bring it down further down. So that is good. So now we have better control on this branch. Now for this, just just this one, uh, check how much uh, segments you have. That is not bad. Now go to sp uh, spine and give it some noise. Like that and grab tur turbulence. Uh, that should be good. So that is our main main branch. So it, so it started from custom trunk uh, going into a stitch. Then we used a speed, speed tree branch to connect that stitch to another branch. Then, then the, in the ending, we actually finishing it off with a with a, with a with a smaller branch. So now we need to add more de de uh, details to it. Again, hide these uh, forces just by left clicking on the force and select toggle visibility. So like it'll be clean. So I can get a nice and clean uh, viewport. Now next part is to add a bigger bigger uh, like part of a, a bigger branch going like that going like this just to give that tree a, a more um, taller appearance so so this select this select this this branch over here right click add geometry uh, select branch tube same thing will happen it will just spawn as a as a star like thing so uv use uh, u locked uh, v unrest unrestricted and change this uh, interval to absolute just one one is good and last move it here uh, just like uh, how we built the hd leaf texture and just rotate this roll it and keep it somewhere here so we'll be looking at this tree from this angle so see the roots so we'll be seeing it from this angle and I want a trunk that goes like this here. So roll it a little bit forward like that. Change the angle slightly, it should go up. Just like that. And I need to increase the, maybe a little bit more roll. Sorry, gen roll slightly up. Yeah, that is perfect. Now check the density. Density is a bit too much. Then uh, reduce the relative segments down. Same thing here. We may have to change it at a later stage, but that's okay. Now you, you go to skin. Uh, changes a uh, percentage of parent to one, so it can be the maximum size here. Because like it won't be bigger than the parent, but it'll be a little bit smaller. Now we need to uh, use welding. So welding enabled. That is good. Uh, increase the bottom size, the spread amount, upper upper scale, 
slightly because that will make it look good. Now what I want to do is I want to make it a little bit more thicker. So this is a percentage of parent now one the maximum. So if you want to make it even bigger, we can go to uh, this curve, increase this uh, bottom size to a little bit more. So it looks like this branch is coming out of the the main the main trunk. It is slightly too much, so we can adjust it. I think this is good. Yeah, yeah, like you don't have to change it. Slightly because it is going sideways. I want to go like straight. Uh, roll it back a little bit. That is good. That is looking good. Maybe uh, skin increase the amount. Uh, there's a maximum upper scale, slightly more. That was pretty good. Texture stretching is uh, right now it is good. If we want to make it more, that is that is perfect. Okay, now uh, I need to reduce the length of this branch. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Maybe like that. And go into spine and adjust the noise, the turbulence slightly. Now that is good. So that is the branch that is that looks like it's going from the main trunk and all the way up. Okay, that's good. Now I'll be adding. Uh, so this is a primary branch. Now I'll be adding some secondary branches to it. Uh, we need some branches coming going from here, here, and we need some branches going from here and some from here. So I'll add some branches to this this one. I can actually copy this, copy, paste, and attach here. And I'll actually go one by one. That is the easiest method. You don't you don't have to do anything uh, fancy. So here one branch. Maybe I'll just make it smaller. Uh, roll it to the to, to somewhat to the top to the side. This 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 branch might look a little bit uh, awkward, but once we add those uh, small smaller branches, it it'll look nice. And for this one, we're gonna add a bit of uh, noise. So go to spine. Uh, maybe try this now. Yeah, I think that is good. Increase the value a little bit. So it looks like it, like it is not too much, but it, need, it should have that twisty look slightly. So uh, go to spine and, and just uh, try rolling it. Yeah, that looks nice. So this the, this one too, we can add some uh, null effect. No, uh, it is too much, so reduce it. Now, go to spine and just roll the trunk slightly. Okay, uh, that, that looks good. So, now the tree is slowly forming. Uh, nice branches. Now, we can have one branch like goes from here and straight up, which is also kind of a Twisted look. As you copy this branch once more and attach to this one, and just move it forward a little bit. Either this first or last. I'm going to use more the first, and just uh, bring it up here. Gen, roll up slightly. Now that looks too long. Or you can just adjust the angle slightly. And reduce the length and uh, this null effect you can reduce spine now reduce it uh, just like that so this this branch looks like it is it is like it is splitting into two so there's a big split going in two ways 
Now tree is all slowly forming. So when you when you look look at the game engine uh, from this angle, <coughs> this tree will have a branch that goes up. Maybe you can just move it slightly to the left. Um, hold it like that. Yeah, and slightly up. That is perfect. So this is the angle which we which we which we are going to see the tree. Then so that is the uh, first set of branches. So we need a uh, second set of branches to hold the leaves. For second set of branches, I'm I'm going to start from these. All of these. So from we will start from this one first. Let's see how that goes. Um, save the file. So select, uh, select this this branch. Right click, add geometry to selected, then branch tubes. Now it's again coming out as you know that star shape. Uh, go to UV, view locked. Then now let's try bifurcation. So Gen tab, uh, change interval to bifurcation. Now bifurcation is actually uh, all these you know these sharp turns in the main branch mesh that is where the secondary branches will spawn uh, again reduce the space again increase the spacing so that uh, there will be less that's good increase the angle slightly <clears throat> and the branches on top will be uh, less you know shorter than those, those, those at the bottom so Go to spine. Uh, this is the parent length. So select select this graph here. Then reduce the length down. So the branch at the top will have lower length, I means smaller length than the branch ones at the bottom. So this is actually the the, the hierarchy. So this so this branch is uh, this branch's parent is the, the the this one. So this parent is like number one. One is the first first parent. This is the second parent. The so third pattern like that. So number one is good. Now we need to add some noise to the these branches. Now these branches look like they are very dense. Yeah. Now reduce this den density going into segments. Uh, cut it down. Uh, length segments relative uh, width segments. So that looks good. Then back to color. Uh, we don't need welding here. So because because welding is very expensive. So just use normal branches. Go to spine and increase the amount of noise. A little bit of turbulence. And we get nice branches there. That's the first set of branches. Yeah, you might need a bit more of the uh, skin. More lengthy. Yeah. That is good. This is the first set of branches already. Now you do the same thing for the others. Now we'll be using this uh, to hold the, the the leaf meshes, right? Uh, for the spine, reduce the length slightly and keep it close to the trunk. So that is what what we'll be using to to hold the leaf leaf meshes, just like what we did for the stem. Uh, even we had to reduce the uh, UV to U locked. So here we are here we're using the same same texture as a bark. You Not know, like there's no separate stem to texture or anything because we are using the same same texture as the board. Also we need one connecting thing at the tip. Uh, so gen, extended parent, any. So that is pretty much it. Now we can go and import the the leaf cluster we did. So go to meshes, add a new mesh. So this cluster uh, maybe zero one. 
under cluster 01 import the leaf uh, leaf cluster uh, like just like that uh, clusters I'll get the uh, wall tree cluster 01 I need to check if it is the right one. Uh, then, then, then on, on the material, we don't have the leaf leaf texture yet. So, bring the leaf texture. Leaf uh, zero one. And the leaf zero one. Under settings, two sided. Get the color map. The texture we did. So it should be leaf ball tree leaf zero two base color base color then volt is zero to base color and change this to alpha and normal wall tree base color to normal that's pretty much it so we have a leaf uh, leaf texture here now go to meshes so add this cluster zero one i need to check if it is a cluster zero one or not so for the branch select these uh, these branches we are going to bring the clusters in so right click on it and add to the geometry selected and select the leaf mesh so leaf mesh will uh, will, uh, will spawn on it like just like that now we don't want to do that we have to make sure that this spawns at the tip of these branches just like the just like what we did for the stems and the leaves in the hd texture so go to gen and choose this extended parent to any and turn this number off to zero we have a leaf at the tip now for the leaves material change that to leaf zero one yeah it's, it's the right one leaf zero one and mesh as cluster and there's a small problem so uh, we took the wrong mesh i think so this mesh is not the right one let me go to meshes again uh let me, go to, let me, let me try this yeah this is a, the, 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 this is the correct geometry okay now how will we um, align it so go to the leaf mesh and just align go to orientation So all the leaves will be properly aligned to the uh, to, the, to, to those, those small branches. So now, now we got some um, some leaves up on the tree. But the leaf looks like looks like like they are too small. So go to a leaf mesh again. Uh, skin increase size. So like look from here. Uh, size is okay, but not perfect. A little bit more. Maybe bring some variation in it. Uh, okay, that is perfect. So the, the leaves are all now uh, on the tree. So one one set of leaves. We had to fill the whole whole tree with the rest. So I'll be doing it. Then uh, when, uh, when I come back, we can take a look. Keep watching. Okay, so we have some branches here um, uh, with all the leaves um, done then we have some uh, uh, we did this all these small you know small branches that are small branch that connect to the leaves uh, so the problem is like these these branches look too straight right now uh, we can go to spine and give it some noise we give it some variation some turbulence so that they, they, they don't look that straight now they are like a bit too thick. Go to skin, reduce the radius, and they should fit. So, so that is the so that is the basic steps uh, that which I used to create this tree over here. So I just. Uh, Unhide the leaves. Uh, unhide, I'll hide the toggle visibility for the forces. So these are the small band, small branches I used. 
to get to get the to collect the leaves now they have some nice uh, you know bent and curves on it so you should spend some time on it just to get that nice uh, level of detail you need then when I unhead the leaves so uh, like, le like leaves are not not too much the total density of the tree uh, for LOD zero is like 13,000 that is not bad 